Hi my beautiful souls and welcome to Kia Charlotte. So in today's video we're going to be talking about nail health and I'm going to give you guys five tips, five things that you should absolutely do on a regular, consistent and even on a daily basis to make sure that your nails are strong and healthy for a long lasting manicure to be possible. So this is the number one thing that we always tell everybody that if you want your nail polish to last longer or long, then you need to have healthy nails. If you have nails that chip easily, that is probably because they are a bit weaker than strong nails. Strong nails will not chip easy. They don't chip almost ever and nail polish can last on them for a very long time. So Kia Charlotte nail polishes last on your nails up to seven days. We've also had 14 days and we also have three to four days. It really depends on the health of your nails, on the strength of your nails. So I wanna give you guys five tips on what you can do to boost your nail health. So without any further ado, let's go. Some of these things are gonna be plain reminders and you might even be thinking, why are you telling me this? Of course, I know that this needs to be done, but I'm someone who sometimes needs the reminder because I go about my daily life not really mindfully thinking about these things and that they might be affecting my health or my nails or my hair, etc. So some of these things might seem super obvious and some of these things might be new for you guys. It really is going to depend, but let this at least be a reminder that you look into your daily routine and into your daily life and that you are doing some of these things on a consistent basis. Number one is going to be the most obvious one, which probably everybody is going to be like, Kia, we don't need this reminder yet again, because you're going to read it in every magazine, every influencer, every blog post is going to tell you this. But if you haven't been reminded in a while to drink your water, let this be your reminder. Your nails, your hair, and all that is going to be at its most optimal health if it is hydrated well enough. Exchange those sodas and orange juices, what you might sometimes drink for your thirst for water, and I can guarantee you're already in the right direction. Let's go to number two, which is gonna be to eat a healthy and nutritious diet. Again, it is more of a reminder, and this is something that we talk about at Kia Charlotte a lot. We go forward with nail health in a more holistic way point of view so we don't have just creams or oils or even nail polish just that what will make it healthy but it is about what we consume inside whether that be the last point which is water or what we eat because our nails our hair everything about us is built up of the vitamins and minerals and proteins that we consume on a daily basis. So making sure that each and every meal that we eat is nutritionally rich is already, again, going in the right direction and is actually quite simple. Most of the times we crave those unhealthy foods because we are hungry or even thirsty. A lot of the times thirst is masked as hunger. So make sure to drink first and make sure to have your meals planned and eat enough of healthy foods so that you don't get hungry and start having cravings for those unhealthy foods which are not nutritionally beneficial to us or our nails. Number three, and this goes very closely to our second point, and that is to make sure that you are getting all your necessary vitamins and nutrients. Usually the first place we're gonna realize that we're not getting enough of those vitamins and nutrients that our body needs is our hair and our nails. When they get weak, when they start to break, when they don't grow anymore, or when we start to experience hair loss, for example, that is often a sign that we might be missing something in our diet. And that is because our bodies are really very smart. So if we are getting less of a certain vitamin or nutrient that than we might need, our body will send those to the absolute vital elements of our bodies. Our body knows that we can live without hair or we can live without ultra strong nails, for example. What we find very beneficial is just to boost some of the foods that we are taking. So whether that be putting some protein powder into our porridge to make sure that it is a protein rich uh, breakfast, or if that's putting a green powder into your smoothie to make sure that you're getting all those beautiful minerals and vitamins from the most amazing greens in this world as well. Or maybe that's taking a multivitamin or an omega-3 tablet because you're not sure if you're consuming enough of those essential omega-3 fatty acids, which your body also needs. Just make sure to be mindful and we always suggest to at least learn the basics of nutrition and what your body needs so that you can have a holistic understanding of what your body needs and essentially your nails and hair need to grow strong and beautiful as well. Let's talk a little bit more about what we can do on a 
shallow bases. So number four is to incorporate an amazing nail care routine. So we have made a couple of videos about this already, which we are going to link in the blog post down below so you can go check those links out. But essentially do that kind of a routine which works for you. And to do this, you might need to research or try out different kinds of oils which work for your nails specifically, or your nails might grow in a different speed as anybody else's. Maybe they don't take that long to grow or maybe they go really quickly. And in that case, you just need to adapt that nail care routine to your specific individual nails. But make sure to have an amazing nail care routine. Make sure to have nail polish free days. That is so important. Remember to let your nails fully breathe without any nail polish for a couple of days every week or at least every two weeks or so as well. And last but not least, number five is to use a toxin free nail polish. Now, a toxin free nail polish is so important because our nails are just like our skin. They will absorb anything that is on them. Maybe not as much as our skin, but they will absorb any ingredients that are on them, which is why you want to use a toxin free nail polish so that your nails and essentially you don't absorb any absolutely toxic ingredients into your bloodstream. Making sure that you at least use the next best Thing and that your nail polish doesn't include the most harsh ingredients like diphthalate or camphor or toluene, just to name a few. Not only are those ingredients possibly going into your bloodstream, but they're also not going to be good for your nails from the outside. They might dry them out a little bit. They might not let air through, which again is bad because we want our nails to breathe, etc. So this is why we highly suggest using a toxin-free nail polish, whether that be three free, five free, seven free, or in our case, that is a 14 free nail polish, which excludes 14 of the most toxic ingredients still used in nail polish today. So those were our five tips to boost your nail health. We hope this video could help you guys out. Thank you so much for watching this video and we're super excited to see you guys in our next video. Until then you guys, bye!